Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I am so excited today to finally be opening this LOL Surprise Outfit of the Day Winter Disco. I do believe that it came out in 2019, so this is a bit old, but it's not gonna stop me from sharing my unboxing with you guys. We will go ahead and take a look at the packaging first, and then we'll get to opening it. So if you wanna see what this looks like inside, let's get started. On the front of the packaging, it shows you who you're gonna get inside. So we have this beautiful artwork of the LOL doll. She has beautiful dark skin, brown eyes, beautiful purple hair, and a very cute purple outfit. This is from the Winter Disco line that they had put out in 2019. I actually have several of the mystery Winter Disco globes that I opened up. There may be unboxings on the channel, I'm not exactly sure. If I can find them, I'll go ahead and link them in the cards and the description below. This does let you know that there are 25 plus surprises inside. This was a limited edition outfit of the day and it's sort of like an advent calendar so there are probably 24 ish little closet type things in there that you would open up every day leading up until Christmas but obviously I'm not opening this as a advent calendar I'm just opening it as a fun little gift to myself so that's what the front of the packaging looks like on the top the handle this is a handle which is really cute it does tell you her name which is snow jams very fitting and then on the back it's the exact same thing I love the background the geometrical shapes are very nice. I love the color scheme. On the side of the packaging, there is a zipper design, kind of like the little globes that you unpackage. And the little zipper pull has a disco ball, which is absolutely adorable. And on this side, of course, it just gives you your facts, your warnings, your copyright. On the bottom, it shows you this is recyclable, but not suitable for the ages under three. So this is very cute and it's beautiful packaging. And the reason it took me so long to open this is because I really was using it as decor because like I said I love the artwork it's very cute but it's about time that I finally get her open so I can put her on display so if you want to open this with me let's get started this did have tape to actually close the front but to make it a little quicker I went ahead and undid all the tape that way we can just open it up so on the bottom it does have this cute little design as if it's a lock once you take off all the tape it just pulls out of here and then lifts up and we'll take a look at the front part first so it's got cute little images that you would get on like one of the clues that come in the mystery boxes just like this and it has a bunch of those little ones so that's very cute on the top in a bunch of different languages it says her name and then her tagline snow jams can't wait to debut her funky and fabulous collection of winter looks at a dazzling winter disco fashion show on the ice and then, like I said it comes in several different languages and that's really cute so then here there's this pocket like cut out and a glittery background. It's obviously telling us to open this up, so we'll see what's inside. So this just opens up. Oh, and how cute we get like her version of the checklist, which I think is a giant sticker. That is so cute. And of course it says her name and has the artwork from the front. I love this. So we'll put that there. And now we will take a look at the advent calendar part. So as I was saying in the very beginning, there are little container type areas that have one through 24 and each day you would just like punch through it and then take out whatever it has. But of course we're opening this all in one video. It does show you what you're getting in each one and it looks like we have tops, bottoms, accessories, shoes, her bottle, and of course her in the middle. It does say start with me first, but I always like to leave the doll for last. So we'll go ahead and move on to number two and then do the rest of them. I may speed through the process and not actually talk about each one. For the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it out to show y'all what it's like. And then I'm gonna try to cut the rest open. That way it's easier to get them out. So we'll start here with number two. very cute it's clear with just little gold decorations and now I'm gonna go ahead and open the rest
Ta-da! There she is. Oh my gosh, she is even more gorgeous than the art. The only thing that I would say is that her hair, maybe it's a watercolor change feature, but it doesn't have the gradient of like dark to light, but she is still stunning. She is absolutely beautiful. I love her little swimsuit underneath. I love the braids into the two little puff balls. She is absolutely gorgeous. Snow Jams, nice to meet you. I love her so much. So we'll go ahead and try on a couple of outfits now. This is absolutely everything that came inside of the advent calendar and I am having mixed feelings about it. So there are some items that I absolutely love and then there's others that I really don't get. I wish they would have just stayed with one theme or one color scheme because some of the pieces just don't make sense to me. Like I would have liked if they stuck with purple, silver, gold, and pink and maybe even some blue but it just doesn't seem to go together. It does however seem like there's two separate separate occasions which is pretty cool but it's also weird like I'm really not digging any of the animal print stuff it's just weird to me I really do love the winter looking stuff I'm not a fan of the glasses or that weird accessory but overall I really like it from just seeing this stuff laid out I think my favorite outfit is probably this one I just love the color and the flocked lining on it which is really really cute the white boots with gold bottoms are definitely my favorite shoe and normally I don't like any accessories but I really like that bag because it's giving off kind of Louis Vuitton-esque vibes which I think is really cute. So we'll go ahead and put her in the outfits and then we'll have to pick our favorite one which I'll go ahead and leave on her so we can see it and she'll sit on the throne of favoritism in it. So let's go ahead and get started with this fashion show. So we went ahead and tried on as many outfits as I felt like putting her in. She was very difficult to dress. Some of these outfits were just impossible to get on. The bathing suit, I would never put her in. It was hard to get on. It was hard to get off. It just feels like it's going to tear at any moment. The glitter boots, I absolutely hate because the glitter is coming off. I definitely don't really care for the dress. I thought this was going to be one of my favorite outfits, but I don't care for it either. I love the pink shoes. I definitely didn't think I was going to. I love the purse. And surprisingly, I love the glasses. Normally, I never like their glasses, but those were actually really cute. The white boots with the fur, still my favorite. Absolutely love them. And then these three outfits right here are definitely my favorite. I didn't think I was going to like the pink one, but it's actually really cute. And this top, I actually wish had a matching bottom. I would have rather got rid of the swimsuit and have matching pants to this because this is gorgeous. Like, that purple is gorgeous and I would have loved to have a pair of pants or a skirt but instead we got that ratchet bathing suit but I went ahead and put her in her dress I wanted her to be all glammed up with all her accessories she is so cute I absolutely love her and I'm so glad that I have her in my collection so that is everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to leave a comment tell me which outfit is your favorite what you think about her if you thought this set was the worth the money because I definitely did also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be aware of when I post my next advent calendar update. So thank you guys again so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.